Hello, book lovers, and welcome to Book Talk Radio Club. My name is Claire Harris, and today I'm talking to author Golem Mola. Golem is the author of two books so far. The first being Darkness Turns to Dawn, Turns to Daylight, and The Dangerous Mind, Consciousness Belongs to God. However, today we will be talking about his first novel, Darkness Turns to Dawn, Turns to Daylight, which was published back in 2019. Sid Basu is a decent man, but when he hits rock bottom, he is prepared to do anything to get out of the hole he finds himself in, even if it involves becoming a male escort. And by the time he has saved up enough money to leave the drudgery of his native Manchester, he's totally alone. But it means he's ready for a new life in New York. He is excited by the lights and the glitz, but what if he tires of the city that never sleeps? What if he starts to dream once again of the grey skies of Manchester? Can he ever completely escape his past and find true happiness? Hello, Golan. First of all, welcome and thank you for coming back to talk to me on Book Talk Podcast. Hi, Claire. Golan, the full title of the novel is Darkness Turns to Dawn, Turns to Daylight. Why that title in particular? Darkness Turns to Dawn means your bad days or struggle are gone. Turns to daylight means that a new leaf has brought a new beginning to your life. Claire, we all have some form of struggle in life, whether it's from a marriage or your inner struggle in life, i.e. mental health or disability. That's Mm -hmm. what my book, uh, that's what my book, um, our fiction is about. Our dream is a struggle. Our dream is a struggle. We see, we may see our goal, but we don't know uh, how we should achieve it. So here we have said, Sid Basu, a decent man, but one that has reached rock bottom. How has he got to that point? Uh, I brought my life experience here, the struggle that every man undergoes uh, when we when we are with a wife or the one they love. Uh, everyone wants a prosperous, uh, rich, strong person, but every, nobody wants to know the struggling man uh, or his history. Um, a good story comes from a struggle. Why? Because it tells us life isn't easy. Everybody looks for the perfect life, but uh, that perfect life doesn't have uh, anything to talk about. Therefore, the person uh, who becomes a rag to riches has a story to tell us. He tells us when uh, when you are poor or lonely, no one wants to know you. But when you are wealthy, uh, everybody wants to know you. That's what my novel tells you. Mm, It's interesting. It's true, actually. So Sid, at the end of his tether, is considering becoming a male escort. Okay, I have to ask, Golan, what kind of research did you have to do about that subject? Uh, I haven't done any research. Uh, It's embedded in our day-to-day lives and our culture. All of us have a secret in our closet, but nobody wants to talk about them. I wanted people or society to know that it, it, it was the same with a man as it was with a woman. Shame is shame, whether or whatever your type. I wanted to write a book uh, with a guy as an escort. Uh, while most of the stories I read related to women, that that intrigued me because um, the world only shame women. Mm, that's true, actually. So Sid saves up enough money and decides to go to New York to try his luck. Why in New York? Um, he tries New York because uh, New York is a place where um, our dreams and uh, desires are met. Uh, our dreams and desires are met. Everybody talks about New York making a life-changing place for them. So uh, when he when he goes there, he's able to meet uh, three women falls in love with Sid following the breakup of his marriage. Uh, one one was his ex-wife. The other was the, the other was a uh, colleague who worked as uh, worked in escort industry. 
and the other was a stranger who found his lost journal. Falling in love is not easy task, but everybody says, I love you. Love or marriage means sacrifice, uh, and nobody is ready to sacrifice his life for you. Uh, this story tells you about his struggle and how he became famous uh, person, but uh, how you, but how do you know who your real love is or who you trust? That's the uh, that's my character in my novel is about. So, what was the inspiration for writing "Darkness Turns to Dawn, Turns to Daylight"? Um, inspiration. Uh, the is Claire. We all have dreams. Uh, we have a uh, purpose but we don't know uh, where destination is going to lead us. Uh, we live in a, a, in a single place, but uh, from infancy uh, to childhood, but our lives doesn't uh, change. Why? Because we are surrounded by uh, negative people who says we can't make, that, make it. Uh, they shatter our dreams before they even began. But mm -hmm. Sid does not give up. He still uh, has the hope uh, that his life will change, uh, that, he, that he will find love, and that he will succeed one day based on, uh, based on a blind belief, because uh, that is the power of faith. Let's talk a little bit about you now, Golan Mola. Gulam, you were born in Bangladesh and came to the UK when you were six years old. Do you have any early childhood memories of Bangladesh? Um, yeah, my childhood memory was great. I uh, like I like uh, culture and custom in particular, but reality is a little uh, complicated when you get older. Once you understand life isn't easy. Uh, or rosy as you like to be. I learned from the experience, and now I share, share. Sorry, now I share those experiences with my audience or readers. Uh, we all learned something about life, even though it means we're marrying the wrong person. Nothing is an accident in our life. It is well planned and well anticipated by our universe. Uh, this allows us to learn from uh, our mistake and bring new experience to share with others. It must have been a bit of a shock to the system for your parents coming from one culture to a completely different culture here in the UK, not to mention the weather too. Uh, yes, Claire. Shock may be, the, uh, may be a good word to uh, use. Uh, we lived uh, a very modest, life in England and abroad. Uh, life, uh, life was hard here. My parents, uh, my parents especially when uh, you didn't, you don't know the basic language. However, mm -hmm. my parents did their best and built a successful business uh, and a life in Britain. You will, you will learn this when I write my story uh, of, uh, of my parents' struggle in the UK and uh, how the restaurant business is revolutionized by uh, revolutionized uh, the British UK market. Have you been back to Bangladesh? No, Claire. Uh, I didn't. I don't believe so. Um, this is not a uh, secure environment for us. I find it sad that the country that our parents and uh, grandparents helped to develop those. Uh, uh, develop does not recognize us anymore. We are foreigners for them. That's sad, definitely sad. You know, I must yeah. say, I do admire you, Golem. You have dyslexia, which makes it difficult for you to write, spell, and use grammar correctly on pen and paper. But writing is your passion, so you never abandoned it. And that's determination and willingness not to give up. What advice would you have for anyone dealing with dyslexia that worries and hesitates about writing a book? I would say never abandon your dream. Uh, it's the true. It's the only true thing we have of ourselves. Life is full of uh, fake and hurtful people. If you have the talent, share it. If you have the knowledge, 
let others know because you may be gone one day, but your word will still be alive. Oh, that's wonderful. I love that. In case the listeners missed your first interview with me about a dangerous mind, consciousness belongs to God, would you like to give us a brief idea of the story? Every, uh, everyone has knowledge, large or small. It's what you do with that knowledge that matters. Uh, did, did our knowledge help change lives? Or did did we use that knowledge to make other people's lives a living hell? This is the subject of my book. It also refers to marriage. Having a good wife uh, in your life can change your uh, circumstances, but having a bad wife in a man's life makes it difficult for you to uh, succeed. Uh, therefore, it is important to marry the woman who supports you or uh, saves your wealth. And that's what my book is about. Okay, thank you. Back to Darkness Turns to Dawn, Turns to Daylight. You're receiving some pretty good reviews for Darkness Turns to Dawn, Turns to Daylight, including this one, and I have to read this one. This is a fantastic book where it is clear that the author has fed in his own experiences, feelings, emotions, and pain to help create a moving and believable story of relationships and life struggles. The story is based on a guy who is down on his luck, has various success in both jobs and relationships, and is always searching for that one special person. He lays his life down explicitly in this journal, which is stolen and turns his world upside down. The story is beautifully written, easy to read, and keeps your attention throughout, not knowing which way this will end and who will win his heart. A brilliant read by this talented author. Well done. Golem, I had to read that one. It's so good. Well done to you. That's fantastic. Tell me, lastly, where can book talk um, listeners purchase Darkness Turns to Dawn, Turns to Daylight, and of course, Dangerous Mind? Uh, you could purchase my book from Amazon and Kindle. Okay, that's lovely. All right, well, thank you, Golan. Please come back on Book Talk Podcast again. I'd love to chat with you and hear more. In the meantime, good luck for the future. And thank you, everyone, for listening to Book Talk Podcast. Thanks very much, Golan.